YouTube. Today is my stash update for 2014. This is not it. I will be posting a video on Tuesday on my wholesale order. So we're going to start with the small stuff over here. I got punks and some snakes. Two dollars each by Black Cat, but I like snakes. Kind of expensive, but it's worth it. Here I have three packages of world class smoke bombs. I wouldn't recommend these, they're kind of crappy, but I got them for the kids. Here we have some uh, Nutty Monkey Fountains. They're, uh, I think they're by Showtime. Yeah, Showtime. Okay. They squeak and they're good. It was a good deal. 50 cents a fountain. That's pretty good deal. Here we got a box of uh, Killer Bees Fountain by Boomer. They're the squeaking fountains. Here I have a uh, Saturn missile battery that I got for 50 cents. Um, Everything here in total, all that cost $192.50. And total, here I have a, a cake called Luna Chick. I normally wouldn't get this small of a cake, but once I saw how packed in there it was at the store, it was broken. I mean, I just kind of had to try it. And they have to have that base on there for a reason. It's a sturdy base. Like, it's hard to bend that. Here I have a uh, Saturn missile battery. It was seven dollars. It's pretty expensive, but I figured I'd give it a shot. It's by window. Here I have a new one that I've never seen before called Cadmium Horse. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's by window. It's a 16 shot cake. It's the same size as the bump bear that I have. I'll try it out. If it's good, I'll get a case. Uh, here I have three more sexy girls. These are amazing cakes. I'd recommend them to any pyro enthusiast. Here I have Metal Dino. I really like this cake too. Not as good as the sexy girls, but I needed a little variety. So I got these for six dollars and these are six too. If you only have six bucks, I'd recommend these more, but those are still pretty good. Here I have Avalanche by Winda. It's a 200 gram cake. It's a uh, mini version of Jumping Skier. Yeah, you can pause it and read that. Here I hate that was eight. This was eight dollars. I have a uh, Buck Fever by Pyro King. Uh, I've never had Pyro King before, so I'll give it a shot. If I like it, I'll buy more Pyro King. It's 25 shot, brown label. I'll give it a shot. Here we have War Party by Forest King. A dollar a mortar, it's not a bad deal. Comes with the cardboard tube. They're each kind of label. There you can see that it says Golden Palm. I have a 500 gram cake called Attitude Adjustment. This was $22 for a 500 gram cake. And the performance on it is somewhere on here. I'll forget what it is, but it looks pretty cool. Right there. Great night view cake shooting with colorful minds and dahlia, sea blue peonies, red flash, time rain willows, etc. and aerial. All V shaped views, which means it's fanned. Now, these ones in the middle, some of them are fanned in the back, but some of them are straight up. But side ones are all fanned. And here I, ha I got a case of eye candy. I was going to get eight of them in general, but I just decided to get a case because easier storage, I guess. 
Uh, it's a 16 shot cake. I paid $72 for this whole case, $9 a piece. It's a little expensive, but it's by Windows, so it can't go bad. It's a 16 shot. Wait for that to. Yeah, you can pause and read that. Here's what the case looks like. I'll close it up. You got. Alright, it's one of those white cases. Never buy a case of fireworks unless it has that sticker on it. The AFSL, I think it's American Fireworks Standards Laboratory. Uh, it's worth it. I'd basically make sure it won't blow up in your face. But, that's everything. I'll be posting another video on Tuesday of a wholesale order. That I spent $700 on. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys that these are my racks. I'm done building them. I got some 2 inches over here. I got some 5 shot fanned. I know I'm not supposed to use cardboard, but... I mean, they're sturdy enough. You can pick up the whole thing, so I think that they'll work. Again, these are all the uh, American Chief mortars that are really strong. Uh, I got some, a fanned one right there, that was a pain to build. Another thing that you can do with these uh, HDP bases that come on the Excalibur things, uh, you could take them off and put them over your cardboard tube so if something blows, uh, it's just extra protection, I guess, because if something blows in the HDP tubes, it'll still swell, but... But you don't really need this on there, but it'll still work. Just wanted to show you guys that I will be posting another video on Tuesday of my final wholesale order. Uh, bye.